Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. So for today's video, I thought it'd be really fun to take you behind the scenes on a shoot day with me because I know there's been a lot of bad press about bloggers and stuff at the moment and I thought I would just kind of give a little funny spin-off to it and just show you what it's really like to be a fashion blogger on the streets of London and also it gives you guys an insight into how hard fashion bloggers actually work and the kind of thing that we get up to. I'm not saying this is an everyday thing, I do this maybe once or twice every month and that is it, but I thought it would just be really funny. You can see where I get changed, you can see what it's like to pack for these kind of things, how many outfits we get shot in a session, etc. Obviously everyone does it differently. I know there's girls who shoot every single day and they just get a quick outfit snap on their iPhone. There's girls who do whole editorial campaigns on their cameras, but this is just how I personally like to do it. So to give you a summary of what my normal kind of month of work looks like in terms of shooting, I tend to shoot maybe once a week with my housemate Sam, who is also a blogger. He has his own Instagram and stuff and we just know how each other like to be shot. We know what kind of angles we like. We live together so we're always at home and we know that we can just run out and do pictures whenever. But sometimes I do like to shoot with a photographer for convenience purposes because I get so many outfits done in an hour or two and also just because it means that I've got a mix up of quality and it's a different person to shoot with and when you're on a more professional level in terms of like actually paying for a shoot and getting content done in a time frame, I find that I'm just way more productive. So that is what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. It's actually seven o'clock in the evening, which is slightly baffling because it is still so light outside and obviously being in the attic with no one overlooking, the light is just insane in here for hours. But we are gonna be slightly battling for time because I need to obviously get all these outfits found and put on the bed and stuff and like plan on what I'm gonna shoot tomorrow. So when I pack for a shoot, I tend to raid my wardrobe and just go through and find absolutely everything that has been gifted to me, that is new in my wardrobe or stuff that I just haven't shot in a really long time and I know is on trend or I really wanna wear it. And to be honest, that kind of helps me out with outfit planning because I've got all of the pieces that I need to get shot in front of me and then I can just outfit plan around them. So for example, I have a really nice pastel green cord suit which needs to be shot as well as a really nice stone blazer and some other bits and pieces that are going to kind of fit in alongside that. And I also really want to shoot my Lulu Hervé bag, which I have actually done an unboxing with on my channel. So if you want to see that, go and have a little look. I'll put it in the card now for you. But I tend to lay everything out on the bed in outfits. So I will kind of lie it so it looks like a look. And I'll put like the top and the jacket and the skirt or whatever it might be with the accessories on the bed flat. And then just see how they look as a whole outfit. So this normally takes me around an hour-ish, depending on how many outfits I'm doing and how kind of inspired I am with outfit styling. Because sometimes, let's be honest, it can be quite hard. And then I pack it all into a cabin size case if possible. If not, it could be a slightly bigger one, depending on kind of how many outfits I'm doing or the time of year. Because obviously winter, coats and stuff take up a lot more room. So that is how I kind of plan my outfits. I'm a really visual person, so I like to have everything completely laid out in front of me so I know exactly what I'm doing. I also sometimes browse like Pinterest and stuff for inspiration if I've seen a look I really like or a kind of trend that I really want to pull into my focus for that season or whatever it might be. So that is basically how I do it. And then in the morning, I'm going to get up. I'm shooting from 10 till 2. So that is basically the morning before routine. However, I do still need to put a fake tan on and I'm going to curl my hair in the morning and obviously put my makeup on. But fake tan is going to obviously happen off camera. And yeah, that is my kind of evening before shooting. So I'll catch up with you in the morning and show you what a real shoot day is like. <laughs> okay, so I'm all packed and ready to go. I didn't film me obviously curling my hair and doing my makeup and stuff because to be honest, I just completely forgot. But I've got all of my goods ready for the shoot and I'm off to go to the train station and meeting her at uh, London Bridge. So we're gonna do some tower bridge shots and that kind of thing. And then you go down the escalator, which we're gonna jump out so we can go to the shoot. <laughs> Okay, so I'm with Sarah now. She's just getting her camera gear sorted. So we've just parked up here and Tower Bridge is there. So we're gonna get some shots with Tower Bridge in the background and I need to quickly change my shoes because I put the trainers on for comfort of getting here and then I'm gonna put the other shoes on and then put these back on for a different outfit. And I'm really prepared. I put a bodysuit underneath so that between outfits, I can just like whip tops on. 
and off and I'm not like naked underneath because I think people will think I am actually because look it's literally skin coloured this is going to be a fun affair but yeah we're going to quickly get some shots of this in the background if I have them back by the time this goes up or edited or whatever I don't know when I'm going to put this live but I'll put them on the screen as I'm talking about them I keep asking what's the you Maybe we'll know when we get out of Wish I didn't care about you Oh, I wish I did Oh, I wish I did So we're just on Tower Bridge, aren't we Jess? We are just a little close to Yep. <laughs> so we've got 13, 13 or 12 outfits? 13. 13. And look how neatly packed it is. I am a pro. <laughs> it never ends this way. It always ends up with someone having to sit on the suitcase, to be quite honest. Perfect. <laughs> It's fine. Look, look, look. <laughs> How do you zoom in? Look at them staring. So that's outfit one done. We're gonna go and find somewhere that I can change. Normally like coffee shop, coffee? <laughs> coffee shops and stuff are the best. So we're gonna try and find somewhere, anywhere that has a toilet that I can change in, which to be honest, can be quite funny because you can end up with some absolute, yeah. like that prat in Notting oh, Hill. No, it's like a trash. corridor and you can't fit your suitcase in there. It's not, an, it's an experience. It's like an escape room. <laughs> this is how many people you have to contend with when you're shooting. There's always people everywhere. Yeah. How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm good, I'm quite hot. It is actually really warm today, even though it doesn't look it. No. And this has got a really nice haze on it today, which is cute. Okay, we're on outfit number three, so I've just got changed in a Starbucks, which is always fun at games. Um, but we've literally just hopped in the back cab to get some pics, which is <laughs> adventure. Yes. So we're getting a cab back to the station just so we can get some snaps. My hair is deflating, but we're gonna make it work. Um, and we're having a bit of a lens change. All good, all good, <laughs> it's fine. You good? Yeah, fine, cool. <laughs> Normally it's not this glam, this is actually quite a glam toilet because it's a disabled and it's big and it's not too like gross but sometimes they are honestly horrific and you get shouted at by people outside because they want to get in and all that kind of thing so this is quite a good one but sometimes it can be horrific. And I try to see you from above Aren't we? <laughs> I'm proper committed. Yeah, you're gonna get piles, babe. And also, the security guy. The security guy in there kind of hates me. He's seen me change back three times. I Shoot. Disclaimer that wall is blooming freezing cold. So we've stopped off mid shoot at Grind. We've done five outfits. Five. 
two with jeans, one in the taxi, one outside Royal Exchange, one on the set. Yeah, five. We've done five outfits so far. This is one of them, but we're actually going to shoot a tiny bit of video for Daniel Wellington now, which is what's on my wrist. We stopped for a little coffee and hot chocolate, and we're splitting this brownie because it looks so, like, rich that we think it's going to be a bit much for one person. So we're splitting that. We're going to get some shots in here, and then we're going to carry on around the corner. weeks later and I didn't quite manage to film the end of the day because it got really hot four hours of shooting was quite draining on both of us and it just became a bit of a, a situation um, in terms of we were just hot and bothered and running around trying to get the last few outfits shot so I didn't 100% finish filming but I am gonna make a part two in a few months time I think just kind of showing you a different location of London and what it's like or um, maybe shooting on a short time frame I don't know something like that but I hope you enjoyed what I did today. I am going to be posting all these pictures in due time over Instagram, but because I have just been on a spontaneous little trip, which I'll leave in the cards and in the description box, and I'm about to go on another trip on Sunday with Next. So that is kind of what this is for. I'm about to film another video in a minute, but I, yeah, I just haven't been able to post any of the pictures this far because of the fact that I've got so many other trips coming up, but they will be up, I promise. And I'm gonna leave all the links to Sarah and everything down below so you can check her out if you wanna shoot with her or see the kind of work she does for other people, etc. But I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and seeing a more kind of behind the scenes look at my working life because I know you see a lot of my home life as it is. But I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I will see you in my next video, which is actually going to be my Palma vlog, followed by my vlog of where I am going on Sunday. Um, also, ignore this. This is going to be explained in uh, another video at a later stage because, yeah. <laughs>